I've made shirts ever since the great sage Kate showed me how. I make what I want to wear. Uh, it was expensive to begin. I spent about $50 Canadian, but it's cheap to continue. I usually use second-hand shirts, so it cost me about three or four bucks if I feel like making one. I use Adobe Photoshop to make my stencils. Here I'm using a picture of Nikola Tesla. First, in the image menu, I change my image into a grayscale one for easier manipulation. The goal is to reduce my image to black and white while keeping some detail. The white is the stencil, and the black's going to be cut out. I play around in Photoshop. I'm no expert. I've made all of my stencils with these tools. Uh, brightness contrast, stamp, and cutout. So for Tesla, I played around with stamp and then used cutout, and I got to this point. But we're not done. The stencil, which is the white area, needs to be one piece. So that means there can be no islands. These are islands. They're going to be severed when I cut out the black, so I'll need to draw some bridges to make the stencil one piece. There. All I did was add some bridges in these areas so that the stencil is now one piece. As an additional tip, change the color to gray so you don't waste your printer's ink. This is the ink that I'm going to use. It's a textile ink, that's important, and the color is blue denim. We've got Tesla here. We're going to use this to make the stencil out of. This is mylar. Do you know if it's drafting mylar? Uh, what? There's two different types. Cut a piece of mylar out, which is going to cover Tesla, and I'm going to tape that down so it doesn't move when I'm trying to cut it. Okay, now we're ready to cut the stencil out. This is a small, exacto-like knife uh, used for modeling. Shouldn't you be cutting uh, with something underneath and that you're not cutting my table? I should cut with something underneath so I don't cut his table. Paper there for it. Just don't know that thing. It's always smart, I thought of this, to use some newspaper underneath so you don't cut someone's table. Whatever my lyre it is, it's the cheapest one. It's just a nice, thin plastic and it makes a good stencil. This part's very labor intensive. I'm just going to take my shirt off since I'm getting a little hot. What? I must be out of practice because I cut off a little piece that I wasn't supposed to. It, uh, it won't be a problem. It'll just bring me some dishonor in the stencil community. There, so I've, I've taped that piece back on and the stencil is just about ready to ink. Took me With this, took me about 40 minutes uh, to cut the stencil out. If you have a wood burner, it should take you uh, probably 10, 15 minutes. Okay, this is spray adhesive. We took it outside because it's a little toxic. And I'm just gonna, oh, I should remember, I want it to look like that, so I'm gonna spray the back side of it. There we go. That's stuck on the shirt? Yeah, it's pretty sticky. And there we are. Tesla's ready to be inked. You want a brush that has a lot of stiffness to it, because to apply the paint, you're not, you're not painting, you're just pounding it into the fabric. To heat set the ink so it doesn't come out in the wash, we're going to iron it, put a cloth over it. Just do this for about five to ten minutes. Who's that shirt going to? You're probably going to get it. Yeah! <laughs> you hear that, camera?